Tuesday night. It's Tuesday night. It's Tuesday night. And we live. We live. Rise of the 1% headquarters. This is Gerald Bass signing on tonight out of Atlanta, Georgia. In a beautiful Buckhead area. And as we get people to hop onto this live stream tonight, we're going to talk about how to start and grow a business to six figures in less than a year while traveling the world. In 2020, whoo, we coming up on 2020. <laughs> Who excited by some 2020 twin? Right. <laughs> yeah, say what you guys see. <laughs> yeah, man. It's going down. We're going into a new decade. Yes, it's been a great and wonderful last decade, and we're going into the new decade in just some weeks, just some days from now. I'm extremely excited about it. So, yeah. Share this in some groups. Yeah, let's get this thing shared in some groups, get some people on. Got some great information to share tonight. Definitely looking to help and serve so many people going into the 2020 year. Help a lot of people have big breakthroughs, experience a lot of success, be able to really get the things they want out of this life, and walking, living their purpose. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight on this live stream. As people hop on, feel free to share this live stream around with anyone else you feel could benefit. Because I'm pretty sure it could benefit someone else as well. So yeah, I'm excited to be on here tonight. I know I haven't went live in a little minute, so I'm excited to be able to deliver the goods tonight. May, what's up, girl? May in the building. What's going on? Welcome, May. Welcome. What's good? What's good? We got Miss Kelly on. Miss Kelly, okay. Welcome. Kelly Jones. We Kelly got Jones, okay. Welcome. Juanita Clark. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Welcome, Miss Juanita Clark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, to you all that's happy, definitely welcome to tonight's live stream. This is Gerald Bass. Creative founder of the Rising One Percent here at the Rising One Percent headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, in the beautiful Buckhead area, and uh, I'm excited to be on here tonight. I know I haven't went live in a little minute; been extremely busy behind the scenes. Got a lot of clients that we're working with in terms of doing marketing for them right now with our agency. So I've been extremely excited to be back, and uh, tonight we're gonna talk about how to start and grow a business to six figures in less than a year while traveling the world in 2020. I don't know how many of you all get excited that we're literally weeks, we're literally days away from a new decade. We're literally days, we're literally weeks away from 2020 twin. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta have 2020 vision. So tonight, of course, I'm going to share some good stuff on here. I'm going to give the goods. It's going to be worth your time. And uh, we're going to take it from there. I know my guy Antonio Millhouse is also over here tonight. So he's going to hop on too for a second. And uh, we just got some great things to share. Great things to share. Feel free to share this around with anyone else you make a benefit. Feel free to benefit from this information tonight as well. Because we want to impact and serve a lot of people. We want to help a lot of people really get the things they want out of their life, out of their business. Going into 2020, going throughout 2020 and beyond. And we can only do that if we spread the message, if we share the information, if we share the knowledge, if we grow together, if we learn together, if we implement together, if we serve together, if we walk in our purposes together. And then not only that, have a whole lot of fun in the process. You definitely want to stick around this live stream, though, because I'm going to share some stuff that's never been shared tonight. Okay? So, go ahead. 
We got Miss Tamika Hill on. Welcome, Miss Tamika. We got Miss Tawana Houston. Welcome, Miss Tawana. Tim, what's good, homie? Got a lot of women on here. Okay, welcome, Tim. Got got our fellas hopping on. Yes, sir. Okay, awesome, awesome. So we gonna dive in. Too all too long. And we have our rising one percent market in Canada. We call it nine p.m. Eastern time as well. So I don't know you all on. So first, we're gonna talk about how to start and grow a business to six figures in a year or less while traveling the world in 2020. We're going to talk about how you literally can do it from scratch. Okay? And I have experience with this because I've actually done it myself, first of all, and I've also trained other individuals on how to do this same exact thing and go out and get results. Okay, so the first way to be able to start and grow a business to six figures in a year or less and travel the world in 2020 from scratch, the first thing you will want to do is you will want to identify something, you all, okay, that you're passionate about, okay? Now, to some of you all, that may sound very simple, okay? That may sound very simple, but as simple as it may sound, there's a lot of people that's not utilizing this, okay? So typically what I do with a lot of my clients is I will have them start off with right now five things that they're passionate about, okay? Five things that they're passionate about and five different skills that they may have, okay? And that's what you want to do. Five things that you're passionate about and five things that you have skills around, okay? Then once you identify those, you'll basically want to pick the one that you're the most passionate about Okay, and you also want to pick whichever that number one skill that you have is. Okay, and the goal is to get your skill to match in with whatever your passion is. Now, once you identify what your particular passion is and the skill that you may have, and you want to make sure, like I said, that, that skill coincides with your passion that you pick, then from there, Pretty much the next thing that you will want to do is you will want to pick what we call a specific niche, okay? A specific niche, okay? And a niche is basically who are you going to be serving, right? Who's the market, okay? So that's the next thing, okay? Because what happens is a lot of people come into business from a generalist mode, serving any and everybody, and that right there is good. It's okay to do that when you're first starting, but if you really want to go on to make a fortune in business and also have a lot of fun, then you want to be able to pick a specific niche in terms of who you are serving, if that makes sense, okay? So they have this story of the general practitioner and the brain surgeon, where the general practitioner works on all parts of the body, right, when it comes to, like, health, medical field. And they take on a lot of patients and they don't get paid a whole lot, right? Versus the brain surgeon focuses on one part of the body and they take on less clients and they make a whole lot more money and they enjoy their life a whole lot more. They're usually the one leaving out the doctor's office with the Ferrari, right? And being able to travel and vacation and really be able to enjoy themselves versus the general practitioner is not having so much fun and working a whole lot more hard. So that's why you want to niche down and not be necessarily generous. Now, once you pick your passion and you match it with your skill, I'm going to put that over here as well. Now you mesh it with your skill and then you pick a specific niche, market, that you're actually going to be servicing. Then from there, you have to do what we call Market research. Okay? Market research. So basically, you have to identify the problems that's taking place within that niche. Okay? What are the different problems that's associated with that niche? And can you solve the problem? Okay, that's the next question you ask. Can you solve the problem? Once you come up with that, the next thing you want to do then is 
you want to basically come up with your messaging. Okay, your messaging. Now you might say, what do you mean by messaging? Messaging is basically what we call like your USP, your unique selling proposition. Okay, basically if somebody asks you what you do, you should be able to tell them who you help and how you help them. That's what your messaging is. All right, so for instance, with the rising 1%, our messaging is I assist business owners with scaling their business to six to seven figures online by using automation. Okay, that's our messaging. Okay, so whoever you're servicing, whether it's health and wellness, whether it's travel, whether it's credit, whether it's um, whatever type of business you have, right? E commerce, whatever the case may be. Whatever type of business you have, who are you helping, how are you helping, you have to come up with your message. The next thing you want to do is you have to craft what we call your offer. Okay, you have to craft the offer. So now you have to package up this particular product or service that you're creating. Okay, what are going to be the deliverables? What are they going to get in this product? What are they going to get with this particular service? Okay, so you have to come up with your offer. And also on your offer, you come up with your price and how much you're going to charge. Now, this is very key when it comes to getting to six figures in less than a year. The quickest way to get to six figures in less than a year and be able to have complete time freedom, be able to travel however you want, when you want, with whom you want, and really live your dream lifestyle, is you need to have some type of high ticket. Okay, some type of high ticket offer. Now, you don't just charge higher prices just to charge higher prices. You have to be solving a unique problem within your particular market where it's value to that market where you can charge higher prices. Higher ticket is usually anywhere from $3,000 and up. Now, you may say $3,000 and up. Okay, yeah, that is considered a higher ticket. Now, what I've realized by selling higher ticket stuff myself, and I have clients that I've taught how to sell higher ticket stuff as well, is that with higher ticket stuff, for one, you are looked at as more of a luxury type of brand, okay, versus just mom and pop. You're looked at more like the boutique versus just the retail store. So what happens is people take your particular offer a whole lot more serious in terms of your product and service when you have higher price associated with the value that you're delivering. Okay? And not only that, now it depends on what type of business model you have. So like if you have a coaching business, right, or an information product type of business or something like that. As well, when you have higher ticket type stuff, people take the program or the product a whole lot more serious. They're more inclined to take action because they have more skin in the game and they go out and get big results, impact their lives. That's usually, if you're in like information product, like I say, business or coaching business, consulting business, um, stuff like that, okay? Now, when it just comes to just, you know, your regular products or services that's out there that may not be in necessarily um, those spaces, like I say, it's just about the perceived value of your particular product or service to that particular market in terms of how much you really can charge. But like I say, if you want to get to your income goals a whole lot faster, it's good if you have a product or service that's valued a great amount to your particular market so you can charge more and you can get to your income goals faster because if you have a product or service, that you're charging $3,000 for, how many sales do you need a month to get to over $10,000 a month, which in turns take you over six figures a year? Well, you only need pretty much, let's say, four sales a month, okay, which is $12,000, okay? That's the whole thing about it, all right? Now, I'm not saying you have to go the high ticket route. I'm just saying that's the fastest way to go. But even if you want to start off with mid-ticket type of stuff, and what I mean by you know mid-ticket, if you want to start off with you know a product or service that's 
let's say around $300, 400, 500. I even jump up to 1,000 to 2,000. Then you can start in that range as well and you would just do the math in terms of how many sales you would need per week, per month, and throughout the year to get to six figures in less than a year. And even if you want to do the lower ticket stuff, right? The $100 stuff, the, the, the $47 stuff, or whatever the case may be. But as you can see, even if you do lower ticket or mid ticket, you still need a higher ticket back end. Something on the back end you can offer higher ticket to be able to pretty much, like I say, bring in a, a great amount of you know, revenue per customer or client and be able to hit your income goals faster, be able to make sure your customers and clients are getting the most value out of the product and service, and then also you're able to invest more back into your business when you have higher ticket back ends or you have a higher ticket product and service. Okay, so you're able to grow your business a whole lot faster. Okay, so the next thing you'll need after you have your offer is you'll need to set up marketing. You'll need to set up marketing. How many of you all are still with me right now? If you're still with me, drop ones below and let me know you're with me. If you get any type of value out of this so far, drop some ones below. Let me know you're with me. Let me know you're getting value so far, okay? Before I move forward. Charlotte said making sense. Awesome. Drop ones below for 1%. Charlotte what my 1% is at? What my 1% is at? What my one percent is at? We got any one percenters on here? Be a part of the one percent. You got to do what the ninety nine won't, right? <laughs> you got to do what the ninety nine won't. The ninety nine won't come in one and then get it some value, <laughs> right? You got to do what the ninety nine won't. The ninety nine is not tuned into this live stream tonight. They watching reality TV shows right now, <laughs> right? Not saying there's anything wrong with that. That's their thing or your thing. I'm just saying, the one percent they always learning, they always growing, they always getting knowledge, and now not only that, find things they can take away from that knowledge and go apply to go out and get results, right? One's rolling in. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. That means you all get some value. So the next thing you all is you have to set up marketing. How are you gonna get customers and clients for this particular product and service? Okay, so it's a lot of different ways to do that. I'm gonna go through a whole marketing training tonight, but we normally start off with, for one, creating a lead magnet. A lead magnet can be in the form of an ebook. It can be in the form of a video sales letter. It can be in the form of a webinar. It can be a cheat sheet, an article, a report, a survey, a quiz, depending on if you have some type of product that you're selling. It could be a free plus shipping offer, whatever the case may be, okay? You have to come up with a lead magnet, and then what you do is, you take that lead magnet and you position it in what we call a marketing sales funnel. A sales funnel, I'm not gonna go through a whole sales funnel tonight because we have other things we wanna talk about, but just know a sales funnel is designed for you to generate leads. You're able to collect people's names, emails, phone numbers, okay? So instead of sending people straight to your website telling them to buy some, and majority of them are not going to buy on the first exposure, you send them over to a landing page where they have to give you their name and email to get access to some type of valuable piece of content you may have or what have you, okay, educating them, and then you're able to build up that know, like, and trust and then market and sell to them, okay, online. Because most people don't come on social media especially to buy. They come on social media to see who just got married. They come on social media to look at the baby pictures. They come on social media to see people traveling all over the world and looking at their experiences. And hopefully it'll be many of you all, if you have not been doing that type of stuff, you could experience that in 2020, right? So at the end of the day, like that's what people come on social to do. And so when they say you have to provide value and you market and sell on the back end. Now driving traffic, it's a lot of different ways to drive traffic. You can drive traffic organically to a marketing funnel by doing things like what I'm doing now, which is a live stream, putting out video content, podcasting, blogging. Uh, yeah, so many ways, right, to actually do organic type of traffic up in Instagram and Facebook stories, promoting. It's different ways 
you can do it. You can start a YouTube channel as well. You can upload content to YouTube, get organic traffic. There's so many ways to get organic traffic on these different platforms for Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the LinkedIn, okay? And for the younger people, I'm hearing about this TikTok thing now. You know, we haven't really did, dove into that yet with the rise of 1%, but I'm hearing that's a new platform, too, people are diving into for the younger people and the people that like to have fun and shoot goofy videos and stuff. That may be a platform as well you want to look into. But the thing is, you all, is there's so many ways to get organic traffic, Google, SEO, search engine optimization, all that. Then you have paid ads, which is my favorite, okay? So you can run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, you can use YouTube ads, Google AdWords, banner advertisement, okay, LinkedIn advertisement, Twitter advertisement, all these different platforms. But you have to be growing an email list at the same time, okay? That's when you're sending your traffic because the thing is with the email list, like I say, everybody's not gonna buy immediately. So you wanna have ways to build up more than not like a trust and provide value to them. And you do that through email marketing. Or even for your customers and clients that have already purchased, okay? You can send emails out to them as well to get them to purchase other things that you have to offer them that can be of value and that can help them. So marketing is very important. Now, here's the thing here. You also have to have a great sales process, okay? A great sales process. This is key. Sales process. We run ads for clients these days, and some of them can close, and some of them cannot close. You can generate as many leads as you want online for your business, or even offline for your business. Even if you use a direct mail, or however you're building your business, even if you are speaking on stages, or whatever the case may be. If you do not know how to sell and close deals, none of this other stuff matters. So you have to have a proper sales process. If you're selling over the telephone, you need a script. Okay, you need a script. Yes, you can't be willy-nilly on every call. You need a script. So all of our clients, our students that we train to rise one percent, they have scripts for their business that they follow. Okay, you need a script to follow. All right, that's number seven. Okay, the last thing for you all that want to travel the world in 2020, guess what you need? You need a team. And I know it's way down here at the bottom, but that's what it say. Team! <laughs> you need a team. So once you've got your business up and running, you're landing customers, you're landing clients. You're starting to, to service them with your deliverables, with your product, with your services. Now you gotta start constructing a team. You have to create leverage within your business. You have to be able to delegate certain things within your business to other people. That could be customer service. That could be different parts in terms of handling your products and services. That may be. Right? That could be your marketing. That could be your sales. Okay, that can be management of your particular business, okay? It's a lot of different things. You have to start building a team. And once you create that leverage and that delegation, guess what? Now you can experience time freedom. Now your business can run without you. So now you can travel the world. That's how I've been fortunate enough to do this, you all, for you all that's on here. And we already are booking our calendar up for 2020 right now. I'm going some places that I've never been in my lifetime. Right? And I'm saying that from a very humble space. I'm finally going to go overseas. And I'm being transparent with you all. I've never been overseas. I've never been on a cruise. I'm like, uh, I'm like Bill Gates when it comes to that. Right? Bill Gates, they say he never took a day off or took a vacation in his 20s. Now, I'm not in my 20s. I'm in my early 30s now. But at the end of the day, I've just been fortunate enough to travel across the United States. I've had the finances to be able to go overseas a long time ago. I just never did it, okay? But as of 2020, my schedule is looking like, oh, we're finally going overseas now, right? We're finally getting those cruises in. All that's on the schedule already for next year. We've already been booking stuff and it, yeah, the whole night. So how are you able to do this is when you have all this in place that I just shared on this whiteboard, but you also have to have a team. You have to be able to create leverage. And not only that, you need a business that you can run from laptop and phone as well, right? So long as we have a laptop, a phone, we have all this stuff in place right here on this whiteboard that I just went over, you can run this business from anywhere in the world. And what we can also talk about in a minute, if you grow your social media presence right, how many of you all know that you can get travel benefits? Some of you all didn't know that. So we're going to talk about uh -oh. that in a minute. Yeah. 
See, if you get your social media presence up, you also get certain travel benefits, whether it's staying in hotels and resorts for free. Yeah. All this type of stuff, okay? <laughs> See, we're going to talk about that. That's why it's very important. All right? So this is if you want to start from scratch. The second way, very quickly, I'm not going to be long with this, is if you don't want to create a product or have some type of service from scratch, okay, you can also do affiliate marketing. Okay, so that's something we also teach within the Rise of 1%, and we have an affiliate marketing program as well. If you do not want to create your own product and service, and it's not even just with the Rise of 1%, they have a lot of affiliate programs out there, but at the end of the day, you can actually take someone else's products and service that's already created, that's already solving a problem within the market, okay, and you can actually market that product or service on the internet and generate customers and get paid for it. Typically, within affiliate marketing programs, they already have the marketing system set up. They already have marketing systems that already convert online, offline, whatever the case may be, that's set up for you. So all you have to do is drive the traffic. And as the sales come in, you get paid. You don't have to worry about customer service. You don't have to worry about merchant accounts and billing people. Right? You don't even have to worry about getting on the phone and selling people. Okay? You don't have to worry about any of those type of things with affiliate marketing. And I recommend if you're going to join an affiliate marketing program, the same thing. It's, it's okay to have low ticket type stuff, but make sure they have high ticket back ends as well that you can market. So you have bigger profit margins as you market in these different products and services, not the small money. Okay? So with the rise of 1%, all of my affiliates right now can actually earn up to $1,000 per sale. So guess what? They're able to spend money into advertisement at a big level because they know that every customer or client that they get for their affiliate marketing business is worth up to $1,000. They can spend up to $500 to get a customer or client and they still recoup their money back and they're still profitable. Okay? So just keep that in mind in terms of affiliate marketing. Now, the last thing I'm going to do in closing, I'm going to have my guy Antonio Millhouse come Onto the live stream. Because this is the Rise of 1% movement. Let me share something with you all before I bring Antonio here. Rise you all see I'm passionate. You all see I'm excited. You all see I'm just pumped up right now. Because we are in transition mode with our company going into 2020. We've been in business three years now. We've impacted a lot of business owners in a lot of different ways. And we're still impacting them as I speak right now. Okay, We've generated tens of thousands of dollars for businesses. Hundreds of thousands of dollars through our business. Really pumped up. Going into 2020, though, we are transitioning our whole entire business model. It's about to go to a whole other level, not just for us, but also for many of our customers, many of our clients. We focused specifically on marketing over the last three years. That's what we focused on. Going into 2020, we are a hub for entrepreneurs and business owners as a whole. Okay. I have a lot of experience in growing businesses all the way around. And that's the difference between us and a lot of other hubs out there, okay, that might just focus on marketing. See, the Rise of 1% in 2020, we're not just going to just be focusing on marketing and branding. We're going to continue to focus on it, but that won't be the only focus. We're going to be focusing on startups, people that want to start businesses. We're going to be also basically helping a lot of our different customers and clients as well with getting their business credit established. If they want to know how to have their assets to fund it to grow their business, how to do that, okay, then, not only that, of course, we're still going to be covering marketing and branding because that's a huge part of growing a business and sales. We're still going to be covering that. Okay, but even outside of that, we're also going to be covering in 2020, once you're making money, what to do in terms of how to start growing a team, how to be a leader in terms of leading that particular team, okay, and expanding your business, getting them to buy into your vision so you can take your business all over the globe, how to grow businesses internationally. Also, how to start investing your money to go on to create wealth. Okay? That's what we're going to be about moving forward. So we're taking this thing to a whole other level. So we're extremely excited. And it's not about Gerald Bass. It's about the one percenters as a whole. It's about the 1% team. It's about our customers, our clients. And it's about you all out there as well that are future one percenters. It's about you all too. Or if you're already a one percenter, it's also about you. 
Okay, if you're not a one percenter, we want to welcome you to the club over this next year. Okay, hopefully you'll lock on with us and be a part of what's going on so we can assist you with getting there. Antonio, I'm going to bring him on. He's a social media director of the Rise of 1%, Instagram specialist with the Rise of 1% and Millhouse Market Agency. He is in the house, okay? And I'm just going to talk to him, let him talk to you all about pretty much how to leverage your social media following. If you have an Instagram right now, how you can leverage your social media following, you can monetize it, and also you can get travel benefits in person by having a large Instagram following. And Antonio is the best person to talk about it because he's grown counts to tens of thousands on Instagram. And this is organically. This is not a robot, none of that. These are real followers and he knows how to do it. So Antonio, come up here, talk to him a little bit about growing accounts in terms of Instagram, the importance of being able to do that, how to monetize it, and how they also can begin travel perks and benefits traveling the world as they go on to create that six figure and above business. Go ahead. Absolutely. We also got a watch party going on. Okay. All these people on here. This is something new I just tested out. Okay. Response. See, we always testing and experimenting. Man, that's what Mark marketing <laughs> is about, man. It's testing and tweaking and experimenting. But um, definitely want to give it back to Jared, man. I know you guys got some extreme value. I mean, he really gave you guys a six-figure and above blueprint. And I just want to know how many of y'all is going to really implement and take action on this because we share a lot of valuable information, but one thing that separates... The 1% from the 99 is the 1% take action and the 99 is in that same place that they've been year after year, month after month, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But I just want to share with you guys how to really grow a social presence, especially when it comes to Instagram. That's my playground. I love it. Facebook is his playground. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm going to share with you guys like some quick tips on what you can do to actually start building your social presence, how you can also leverage your social presence, like Gerald said, to be able to get free dinners, free travel. Mm. And this is stuff that we finna actually go be putting in place. Exactly. That's why um, this um, overseas trip is finna be coming in effect. So we're gonna be sharing with you guys, um, you know, some tips and stuff like that. So what I wanna share with you, one thing that you wanna keep in mind, I'm left-handed, so it's, gonna, in that it's kind of going to be funny <laughs> since I'm left-handed, he's right-handed. But yeah. one of the things I would say, man, um, you have to be very specific uh, when it comes to um, Instagram. And what I mean by you have to be specific is the fact that you just don't want to be coming on Instagram just to create an account and say, I have an Instagram. Um, first of all, you got to think about the end goal. What is the purpose of you having a, a page? Now, most people just want to get on Instagram just to get on it, but me personally, um, I've done created more, well over 20 pages on Instagram, been helping other businesses, and one of the things that I look at and the end goal at any time that I'm creating a page is always to monetize it, all right? And not only that, but to also give my audience on whatever niche that I'm building this page around, uh, whether it's travel, which I have some travel accounts, um, business, rise of the 1% pages, like we have so many accounts in different niches that we've been able to help grow, monetize, and scale. But one of the things too, you have to have an end goal, and my goal is to monetize. So if you're just the person that want to get on Instagram, just say I got a gram and do all this, and you ain't really leveraging your followers to even monetize it, it's just time. And so one of the things you have to keep in mind, um, I'll, I shared this before on the live stream before, but I'm going to just go back over it and do it again because it's called the four pillars um, to Instagram. And I tell you, if you follow this blueprint, it doesn't matter. You can take your page to 10K, 20K and above. It doesn't matter. But if you apply the what I'm going to share with you, uh, you're going to start seeing results. All right. A lot of people always say, well, I tried this. It didn't work. You just didn't work hard enough. You have to go through the numbers with what I'm going to tell you. So the first thing, what you want to do when it comes to Instagram, you got to do market research, which Gerald already talked about. Now, market research, this right here is the part that is not so fun, but it's rewarding at the end. All right. So you have to really do market research. And one of the things that you have to keep in mind when it comes to market research, you want to find other pages or accounts that's in your same niche or industry. You want to find who these influencers or competitors, I really don't want to say competitors because you can eventually form some partnership with them to find out what they're doing so you can actually implement it for yourself to see the same results that they have. But you have to look at competitors in your space and find out what they're doing, what type of content they're posting, um, 
not only that, but how many times per day are they posting? How many times per day in stories that they are posting? Like you really have to do your own due diligence and your own research. So that's very important when it comes to IG. So if you don't have market research in place and you're just trying to get on and just start posting and thinking you're just gonna grow, you're not gonna really grow. It's gonna take you a long time to do it. So you have to follow this. This is the step-by-step -step blueprint. So once you do market research, now, you want to come up with content, okay? Now, content, you know, people always say, yeah, you got to have good quality content, which is true. You just don't want to be posting any and random things. You want to also post with a purpose. Don't just do random acts of posting. So what I mean by posting good quality content, uh, one of the things that I found that does a lot, of, um, that does real good on Instagram um, is infographics, right? And if you don't know what infographics is, it can be um, a graphic image with a headline where it may simply say how to get your first 10K on Instagram. And on these posts, it has steps that you need to do, which I'm pretty much giving you the blueprint now, so you're gonna see this. And so they have these different step-by-step -step process on what you can do, how you can do it. So they're giving the audience uh, actionable steps to implement. And those one of the things that really catches a lot um, attention especially in the business space when it comes to Instagram so if you're on Instagram you're building your business infographics is definitely um, it's getting a lot of attraction it's helping a lot of people grow because people love to look at that type of content and then Instagram also favors and they know how long a person has been on that post so by a person looking at this post and reading learning these different steps on XYZ Instagram sees that which is part of their algorithm to see how been on that person's post that also helps them with getting more exposure so you always want to give value all right so once you have your great quality content and you're giving your audience value now you have to be consistent in the process right you have to be consistent right you just can't be like okay i'm gonna post today then you want to post like two three four weeks maybe a month later and thinking that you know your people are going to be engaging with you you have to be consistent all right and a lot of times people ask me, how many times should I post? I recommend posting twice a day, really. You know what I mean? You really don't have to do the whole Gary B where you're posting 20 times a day, no disrespect to them, but you really don't have to do all that. So I recommend one to two times a day, just post something, right? And just as long as it's value, all right? Not only that, but once you're being consistent, um, it's networking, okay? It's networking, right? And the thing is, you just can't come on Instagram or social media, period, just make a post and then hop off. No, you have to network because you never know what type of relationships you can build, what type of connections you can um, come together, or whatever the case may be. So it's very important to go ahead and network with people, right? It goes down in the DM, I'm telling you. Like, I done made tons of sales just from the DM, right? And so you have to network. Uh, with other people. And another thing I would say that will also help you with growing your following is leveraging influencers, uh, finding other big pages that have a large following to you that's in the same space as you and have them to promote what you're doing, okay? Because now what's gonna happen is they are already credible. Their audience sees that, okay, wow, this is a person that they vouch for, okay, let me check them out. So. You definitely want to leverage your influence in marketing, guys. So that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. But I'm gonna tell you this, but once you remember this, the four pillars of success when it comes to Instagram, like I say, these four steps can take your Instagram account to a whole nother level, right? Even if you never had 10K, like we have people where we actually went through this and we have a lot of success where people done done 30 days or less, right? Some even lesser than that, but I'm telling you, if you really put this into play, I'm telling you, you would definitely start seeing results. And then two, we live in a society where people want to know how many followers you got, right? So Jared was just sharing with me um, this week. So we got a new partner, Omar, double salute to Omar, man. And uh, Jared was just telling me about how they had a conversation. And so he was like, Rising, he's seen that the, our main page for the rise of the one percent had like I want to say well over ten thousand. He was like, "Whoa, how y'all get to ten thousand? So that's just to show you, people look at how how many followers you got, how big your audience, and you know that's just reality, all right. But at the end of the day, 
once you grow a huge following, you can leverage and get so many perks and benefits, all right? Like I say, free hotels, free dinners, right? Even free car rentals. Whether you like luxury, anxiety, it don't matter. By you having a large social media presence, you can definitely reap the benefits. And I'm telling you, it's game changing. So with that being said. And here's the thing, Tony, y'all, before you close uh -oh. out, is why would hotels and restaurants this stuff for free just by having this large presence. Oh, simply because you helping them get more exposure for their business, right? right? And, you know, so at the end of the day, they will be willing to just say, yes, do it for free. I don't, like, they'll be willing, like I say, to give you that hotel or the, the dinner to stop for all that for free because now you're helping them get more exposure, all right? Because a lot of them, like, believe it or not, not too many hotels are running ads. But if you can actually um, show them your portfolio, show them how many followers you got, your demographics and all that, like, I have a blueprint for all that, but I ain't gonna give you all of that, but we can talk <laughs> more about it. But what you do is, like, once you show them all of that and you just come up with the agreement, they'll just say, well, you know, you can pretty much just let them know, well, while I'm here, I definitely be getting some video footages, photos, and just sharing it with my network on my pages to help you all get more exposure for your business. Exactly. And so with that, that's a game, like it's a no brainer. Like why wouldn't you give me this hotel for a few nights for free to do what I'm gonna do to help you get more exposure, mm. right? Exactly. And you, that person didn't have to pay for ads, right? Yeah. But just by you having a large following, it's game over, man. It is. I'm telling you. Appreciate that. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> Awesome. About all day. Absolutely. <laughs> so with that said, any questions? Any questions at closing? We got a great hop on a coaching call with our Rising One Percent Marketing Academy. Any questions? And what I'm gonna do? Um, I'm gonna have Antonio drop a link in the comment section. Um, for any of you all that want some more in-depth training, we actually have a free training up online. It's how the top one percent of business owners are generating a thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars a week online it's a free training goes more in depth on what we talked about on this particular live stream you can take a look at that training you want to take a look at it as soon as possible i don't know how long we're gonna have it up um i'm gonna have him drop a link uh the link generally is geraldbass.com slash one percent geraldbass.com slash one percent is the link okay go a little bit more in detail on what we talked about you can see visuals i know a lot of people are visual learners of everything that we talked about in this live stream, okay? He's gonna drop a comment, a uh, link in the comments or around this post, okay? Besides that, do we have any other questions? And feel free to share this around with anyone else you feel could benefit. Do we have any other questions from anybody else? We got a great hop on our Rising 1% Marketing Academy coaching call tonight with our students for that. And if you want more information on that too, shoot me a PM. Or just take a look at the training down in the comments, and you'll also get more information in conclusion of that training. Okay. Any questions from anybody? Anybody ready to close out? Nobody. Got no questions yet. Okay. Yo, the link is pinned in the comments. Enjoyed it, appreciate it. That way Jeremy said, Charlotte okay. said, great live. Awesome. Awesome. Glad y'all got value. Feel free to share if you got value or if you know anyone else could benefit, share with them. Let's spread this message across the internet. You never know. Something we shared as well could be somebody else's big breakthrough in their life and business. Yeah. All right, well, we don't have anything else. We're about to ready to hop on our Academy call for the night. The link is in the bottom. If you all want to go a little bit more in detail, see more visuals, hands-on training on how the top 1% of business owners generate $1,000, $3,000, $5,000 a week online, okay? We actually show you the systems. We show you the ads. We show you all the the processes that it takes to be able to get those type of results in your business moving forward. And like I said, if you want more information on what we're doing with Rise 1%, as well, you can shoot me a private message or just take a look at the training down in the comment section. In the conclusion of the training, you can also get information on how to work with us with that as well. 
All right, so with that said, one percenters. We'll see you all next time. This is Gerald Bass, Credit Final with the Rising 1%. You all have a phenomenal rest of the night on purpose.